You're watching a story to tell. You could choose right weed now. or your You're relationship. You're not supposed to be in this car right now. I don't matter when I'm in the car. So it's either the weed or me. Don't sit there and do that because I. It's I the weed you, or me. I'm not gonna make you choose if you Fuck if you I say mean. it's the Casamigos or me. What but I say? wouldn't be doing it in a car with you yes, if you, you didn't want me doing it in a car. Yes, you would. What are you talking about? I am pregnant. I don't want to smell it. All right. If you wasn't pregnant and I was to tell you I don't want you to do something, you gonna tell me shut the fuck up. I'm doing it. I said you no. a liar. Her, it's happen. the weed or me. You choose. So I could get out and just take cabs all day, which you will be funding each and every last stop. Or Mom you could just put. I don't give a fuck. Hi, <laughs> Mom. What do you have for me? That's your boss. What does it say? Yeah, he can make me a fucking virgin drink, bitch. This is why I don't fuck with him, y'all. My whole pregnancy, he was fucking nasty to me. Stop on. Stop being fucking nasty to Marcy. Marcy with a Shirley help people. Shirley fucking bitch. I'm going to sit at your ball, ho. That pretty much sums up how when I go outside, how my day usually go. I don't go to Tyrone Bar because he ain't want me around his ass because my ass is pregnant. He think I ain't fun no more. But, hey, I seen everybody. I had a good old time. I love the energy. You see my girls, Oni Baloney pulled up. We was just having a good time. I need this with my pregnancy. I got to still go out. I can sit at the bar. I ain't drinking. Look, they having a good time. It's just making my heart smile. Okay, y'all. So, it is April 19th going into the... 20th which means the 19th at night my mucus plug popped and I didn't know it popped because I'm laying in the bed and then I just felt like a big glob of like discharge come out and, you know, pregnancy discharge is so yuck to me. And I jumped up and my man looked at me like, what? And I'm touching, like, my end of my robe. It was, like, you know, gooey, but, like, wet. And I'm like, no, it's not my water. It's mad discharge. Big thing with that. I just wipe and pay it. So, after I paid it, when I say paid it, I paid it, y'all. Like, I looked, he looked at me like, what you about to do? And I'm like, I'm like, it's mad discharge that just slammed out. So I got up, I'm looking for the wipes. I just grabbed a piece of tissue. I've been so lazy and heavy lately that I just wipe it. You know me, of course, I smell it. It's giving discharge. It's not like soak all over the bed, but it's like attached to, babe, can you, babe? You're going to really, really? Then I um wipe it. He looked at me like, what you want to do next? I said, I'm paying it. I put the tissue in the garbage and I lay right back down. So I'm talking to my homegirls and they like, girl, that is your mucus plug. And I'm paying it. Like, oh, big thing with that. So, you know, so now I know that my mucus plug pop. Ain't nothing to run to the... um. Emergency room for my doctor already told me what the fuck is all of this. My doctor already told me that you know I'm already at my full term stage, and you know, even though my due date is the 14th of May, you know, you can be due anytime within the four weeks. So I'm already mentally prepared for that. Um, but I gagged because it's like, girl, the doctor just told you the baby head is down, doctor told you you full term, you do any day. Then your, your friends tell you, bitch, that was your mucus cup and you paying it. So now it's like, I got to wait a couple of days. It's like, girl, I'm ready for you to come. 
But after my photo shoot, give me until Sunday. Sunday night, I'm going to bump and grind with your pops. And then when you decide to come after that, boom, it's lit. I'm with that. Oh, yeah, boom. Another thing. So another thing of signs that baby story is ready to come. I'm sitting down, and I'm just like, yo, my butt hurt. Like, my butt hurt. Damn. All the pregnant girls like, girl, you was almost doing when that butt start hurting. That baby is ready to come. So I'm like, oh, my God. Nobody don't talk about these little things. Like, like girl, when you in your last semester, your last four weeks, I didn't know your butt is supposed to hurt. Like, hurt, girl, down. Butt hurting down. It's like, what, what, what is happening? Big thing. Y'all, it's a whole big thing. It's a whole big thing. So today I was gagging, like, with all the things that have been happening to me in my last two days. And I'm just like, girl, you playing. You paying it. Like, she is due any day. You need to be motherfucking mentally prepared, 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 prepared. Okay? So my man decided, making his own decision, how he's going to take his shahada. Girl... This happened all on Eid. I was so proud of him because he's been talking about it for so long. And what a better way to do it than with my brother Rad and all his friends celebrating Eid and a bunch of Muslim people to watch and witness this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith, brothers, yeah. Brother, witness that none has the right to be worshipped except for the Creator. Allah alone. So that means all prayers, fasting, any act of worship is for the Creator. We don't worship any idols, we don't worship any human beings. That. We don't worship nothing material. Only the Creator has the right to be worshipped. And the Creator is who created us. The second testimony of faith is to testify that the Prophet Muhammad from over 1400 years ago is the last prophet and messenger for all of mankind. And that means we follow his teachings, we follow his way, we follow his example. We don't worship him. Okay? Just repeat after me. Ashadu. Allah. Ilah. Illallah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except for Allah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. I bear witness that Muhammad. So today, my friend Zaki is coming over, and we're gonna start with the baby's room. Like, we're going to just, like, you know, organize some stuff. We're not going to set the crib and stuff up yet. You know, superstitious bullshit. But we're going to start getting things together. Who wants you this? Is no name on the box? I don't know. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. I want to take that to the hospital, too. What color they got? White. I want to do white. Babe, tell her what we doing. We packing the baby. We packing Story Hospital bag. No Story, we packing your bag. Mm -hmm. the things we gonna put on you when you, when you come here. Okay. You here, baby? babe. Well, well, can you put it in here? And yes, Story, we washed everything. Mommy look crazy. So we pack in the hospital bag, or the baby's hospital bag first, and then we're gonna do my bag. The clock is ticking. Is. So this is, I pack this is a bunch of newborn ones. Those are newborns, newborns, newborns. long sleeve. Yes. All right, baby, put it in here. And these are the zero to three months short sleeve. I feel like we overpack it already. This is so funny. It's alright. I don't like. No, let's pick cuter, cuter onesies in that. What you mean? So you telling me this ain't it? No, that's for when she get a little, little bigger. This is zero to three months, baby. You can put this she ain't gonna fit it. It's smaller stuff in there. I don't know. Maybe it might come out a little size. No, it. she ain't. She's small as hell in this my belly. Alright, what, what else? This is small. Look how small this is. I don't like, but she got cuter ones. All right, this is another small one. She has cuter ones in All there. Right, so you go through here and find cuter ones. Cause you just doing over here is fuming. 
Because I'm the only one going through these bags looking for stuff. Don't play with me. Don't play with me right now. Talk about don't play with you. I'm pulling out stuff and it's not good enough for you. No, I just said she has cuter ones. She has a whole it bag of the cute ones. We got a bunch of stuff, and when she come back home, she can wear. Oh no, 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 you, no, no, no. I'm not doing that. She's get, she's wearing the cute shit out the pussy. Oh y'all, I'm gonna put this. This is gonna be one of her blankets when she get back, because you know my dad passed. For those of you that don't know, and my friend Jahari made me a blanket. Babe, can you open this up so I can show them? So I'm taking this with me to the hospital. Other way, yeah. So my dad could be there in spirit. Oh, I love him. He's gonna see his baby, my God. Yeah. So we're gonna pack that in the bag. I think that's like a good luck charm for story. We got this blanket. We got mad stuff so she could be warm. I feel like the hospital be cold. We got to do, um, we got the onesies. Okay, now we need little cute outfits. All right, let me, let me put the camera down. I'm going to help, I'm going to help you. I'm going to put the camera down, y'all. Be back. So, y'all, it's 7 in the morning. My shoe is today with Mr. Guerrero. Y'all wouldn't believe that I was supposed to do my shoe at noon. And he double booked. And I had to do it at 9 in the morning. It's a big thing with that. Come on. Yeah, shower and stuff, so mm -hmm. can you please go first? No, because I'm going to take that off. No, please. Say yeah? Yes. Okay, y'all. Uh, we get ready. Yep, it's photo shit day. The energy is right. We slept good. It was a little tired getting up, but the energy's back on track. Me and my man can't wait to see how these photos is going to come out. So excited. Babe, are you ready for the photo shoot? Y'all, yeah. so we just pulled up. I ain't never do makeup before. You ain't getting no makeup. <laughs> so, Mr. Guerrero Studio. So cute and creative. We was going to do this one first, but I feel like it gave... Wintertime vibes. You play too much. Y'all, we had our own decision at first. We had our own decision first, but then I changed my mind that time. I was over it. And I'm not even a photogenic girl. So this is a lot for me, a lot of pressure. I'm like, I'm not, like, I'm not, once I start getting, I know, once I get, um, anxiety and all that, and start giving, like, too many questions, and it's a lot given, no. Send me some ideas, Mr. Guerrero, and I'll pick from there. Give me right, just give me cue, just give me right. You guys, so Lula's about to do my makeup. Hi, Hi Lula, beautiful. Uh-huh, she's too cute. You. <laughs> y'all, when I say she slayed my face, y'all, I can't wait for y'all to see the ending result. She took her time with them hands, honey. The energy was even better when we got there. Hospitality, and she getting me glint. I'm talking about, girl. Um, 
SpongeBob is my favorite character. Wrap my head in his socks. <laughs> I'm stupid, but y'all, y'all don't understand. I don't know how to do here or keep my hair tame, so I find little hacks all the time to keep my shit together. Ooh, that bitch is a bad bitch, honey. What's up? Who that? The dwarf skin fire? Who very mother is that? outside again you can't end the things off without having a little party i need a little music to jump and grind to but yeah we watched the fight with the fam and that was it i had a great motherfucking day baby you know hanging out with my man doing things i like to do 